I am incredibly excited today because in all the years that we've been doing uh, our Express segments uh, here from the HR McMillan Space Center, Raminder has wanted to do one experiment that he is just uh, over the moon about. I'm not using a pun, but, uh, and I've always been like, well, geez, you know, I don't know, but you know what, we finally relented, we're gonna let him do it today. He said it's, it's one of the, uh, the most special experiments that he's ever done, and it's gonna blow everybody's mind, right? Mm, Excellent. I guarantee it. Okay, all right, so where's the stuff that we need for the experiment? Right. Right, okay, so we have... Two magnets. Two, two magnets, and then some fire, I'm assuming, someplace, or some, nope. uh, no, just, just two, two magnets. Two magnets, okay. So, pick one over. One magnet, yeah. Bring it over the other one. Isn't that fascinating? So that's the, uh, that's the experiment. Yeah. I'm really sorry. Uh, he had me convinced that this was a very exciting experiment when he pitched it to me a couple of weeks ago, but I've been really sleepy, and uh, I thought there was more fire or something involved with it. Maybe, maybe it gets better. Can you explain to the people at home what they just saw in a... Uh, exciting sort of way. Okay. Yeah. So this tiny little magnet right. was able to pick up that magnet. This tiny magnet is fighting against the entire Earth's gravity. The Earth is a big place as far as I'm concerned. It's very big. You wouldn't want to paint that. No. No. And it's got a, quite a bit of gravity. Sure. Keeps us on well, here. Yeah, it keeps the moon in orbit, right? Yeah. Yeah. But this little magnet has enough strength to beat Earth's gravity and pick that one up. That force is incredibly strong compared to gravity. Okay. In fact, if I was to write the number down. Okay, you're gonna write down a number? Yes. I'm just gonna write down a number. Is this your pin number? I made that mistake, don't do that. When someone asks for your pin, just don't give it to them because I, oh, I got in a lot of trouble for that. Uh, can you explain can you explain what exactly this, this number is? Well, this number is, uh, 10, 6 times 10 to the minus 39. Wow. And I mean, magnets are used all over the place. They've got, they elevate trains. Uh, some of the speedy trains use magnets uh, as, as their cushioning factor. Uh, I use them for clipping my sunglasses on, which I find quite, quite, quite effective. So the, my point is, the fundamental forces have a great variance in terms of strength. Mm -hmm. And this is actually one of the, the, the most fascinating things about physics, is that gravity is so weak compared to the other forces. Right. And that's one of the, today's challenges is in coming up with a theory that explains everything. It's that gravity is always the odd one out because of its weakness. Right. Because a tiny magnet like this can just beat can it. just beat the, the entire Earth's gravity. My goodness. Well, there you go. I am, I'm converted. I'm convinced. That was the coolest demonstration we've ever done here on our Express segments. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really I appreciate it. I'm going to go home and tell my family about this. And can I bring this number with oh, me? Oh, for sure. That would be great. I might, uh, might put that on my fridge. Uh, from the HR McMillan Space Center for the Express, I'm Cam Cronin and the amazing Reminder Samurai, who, who puts it all together every day. I'm, I'm, I'm blown away.